to it, what it do, it's your boy Manny, checking in. Now a couple months back, I wanted to make this channel, but I didn't have the confidence to make the channel. So I had to figure out why I didn't have confidence. And once I figured that out, it was over, literally. I'm a beast now, I'm unstoppable. I didn't have the confidence to make this channel because I didn't put the work in and make this channel. I didn't feel confident to make the channel. How do you build self-confidence? Work on yourself. It's that simple. Work on yourself. I couldn't make the channel a couple months back because I wasn't in the right state of mind to make the channel. I didn't have enough confidence because I, didn't, I wasn't doing what my channel requires me to do, which is self-reflect, which is look yourself in the mirror every morning when you wake up and self-reflect. I wasn't doing that. I think about Michael Jordan. He was arrogant. He was conceited. People would call him conceited. Why? Because he knew once you stepped on that court, it was over. He knew that. Why did he know that? Because when nobody was watching, he was pulling up them shots. He was shooting that ball. When nobody was in the gym, when everybody was asleep, he was up in the gym. Why do you think most successful people, some people may call them conceited or arrogant? Why? Because they put the work in. <laughs> It's that simple. Floyd Mayweather, perfect example. He talk, he talks, he talks a lot, but he in the gym at four in the morning, 50 and 0. If I'm not mistaken, he never lost. What you gonna say to that? That's why he's confident. He put that work in. He disciplined himself. A lot of people, they ask themselves, I need to be more confident. You can only be confident through your actions. You can only be confident through what you do on a consistent basis. That's how you become confident. You can't not play basketball and then step on the court with a whole bunch of athletes that play basketball and expect to be confident on the court you can't you're not because you didn't put the work in you didn't put the work in you can't debate with somebody that's been studying the same book for years and you've been studying it for two months you're not gonna have the same confidence to talk to him why because you didn't do the same thing you build self-confidence through what you do with yourself self-confidence does not come from other people you know some people they say oh but yo i felt like i ran my fastest see a lot of people don't understand how working out can really change your life they could really change your life because the same mentality that you apply to working out you could apply that to other things in your life relationships for example some people aren't that confident with a relationship when i say you're not that confident in a relationship i mean you're not self-confident in yourself enough to realize that you can be alone why because you don't self-improve yourself everybody should carry their self like they're the prize i'm the prize that's how i carry myself i'm the prize you hire me you won you won if you didn't hire me you lost if you want me to be in a relationship with you you won if you don't you lost if you want me on your team you won if you don't you lost that's self-confidence why do i feel like that how did i get like that because i worked on myself i worked on improving myself my self-confidence didn't come from somebody saying emmanuel or manny your youtube channel is good your body looks good i like what you're wearing that's not where my self-confidence come from confidence does not come from what you can wear what you can show confidence come from right here your heart if nobody commends you if nobody shows you what you feel like you need do you have the confidence to move on do you have the confidence to keep pushing you know that through what you do bro do you have enough confidence to not need anybody's validation do you have enough confidence to tell yourself you're the best thing that ever happened I tell myself that every day. You will be your blessing. But it doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't happen overnight. Work on yourself. Work on improving. Can't nobody tell you nothing. I was watching a, a P. Diddy video the other day and he felt like he deserved 45 million for a company. They only offered him 43 mil, two mil apart. Guess what he did? He walked away. Why? Because he was confident in himself knowing that somebody else would see that he was worth that two extra mil. He could have took that deal if he wanted to, but because he didn't, it shows that he's self-confident in himself enough to know that somebody else is going to see his prize. Somebody else is going to see that he's real, that he's genuine. See, some people tend to adjust to what people want them to adjust to. Make people adjust to you. Have that type of confidence. Stand firm. This is me. It's either you're going to take it or not. Work on yourself. Work on yourself every single day so you have the confidence. So you have the confidence. The advice to me was rehearse before you record all your videos. Make sure you record over and over again until you get it. No, I do all my videos one take. You know why? Because it's genuine. It comes from right here. I don't need to rehearse. It's genuine. I live it. 
It's my life. I don't need to rehearse. That's the type of mindset you need to have. You should have. And where did I get that from? Once again, self-improving every day. We gotta work on our self-confidence, man. We gotta work on our self-confidence. You work on your self-confidence, anything anybody tells you that you feel is off a little bit, it won't even affect you. You know why? Cause you confident. You're gonna walk away good. You know you good. We gotta walk, we gotta work on our self-confidence. Had to. Y'all know the routine. Comment, like, subscribe, short video. Got more content coming for y'all this week. Stay tuned. Man, checking out.